Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and welcome to another episode of LEGO Throwback Thursday, where we will be playing games, LEGO video games for iOS that are so old. Um, we're going to be playing the LEGO Ninjago rebooted, it was kind of like Temple Run-ish. Um, I guess we can play story mode. Uh, should we do Zane? Cool. J. K. Let's do Zane. Since this was Zane season. Sensei Wu, you are entering the Borg Tower. Listen closely to what you must do. We are all ears. Our friend Cyrus Borg is in deep trouble. He has been possessed by the Overlord. Oh no. Climb to the top of the tower. There you will find the Technoblades. They can be used to free Cyrus Borg. The Overlord is forcing Cyrus to do evil things. Yes, but remember, although he may fight against you, Cyrus Borg is not our enemy. The Overlord is. Okay, so climb the Borg Tower, find the Technoblades, and then use them to save Cyrus Borg from the Overlord. Got it. That was the only story that was included. Ever. Okay, tap on the side where the ninja is on to climb. Swipe towards the opposite side to jump attack, and then slash attack. Swipe downwards to slide, slide forward to dash attack, and swipe upwards to jump attack. Okay. Jump! Wow. So inexperienced with this game. Oh, I can break it. Hoi-ya! hoi -ya. Oh. Look at this, we're dead already! Alright, let's go. Diamond minecart, dude, 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 we're not the diamond minecart. We never, we were never the diamond minecart. Hoya, hoya, hoya. All right, look at that checkpoint two. I was gonna say, don't make me go up, because it keeps this. He keeps the same position after every level, and you're like, please don't make me go up. Magnetism, so I don't have to worry about getting studs now. Hoya, hoya, hoya. Can we go for perfect? Can we go for perfect on this level, please? Please? Yes! First try. Oh, now we gotta go up. Okay. Uh, that was the only thing I didn't like about this game, is you can't go down. What the? Oh, that's right, those things make you go down. Uh, -ya. I can't tell if there was an update to this game. Because I just haven't played it in so long. Alright, ready? Boing. Boing. Oh, slingshot control. Go! Whee! Uh, okay. Shield! Oh, awesome! I got a shield! That means we'll actually complete, complete this level. Uh, whee! Uh. I feel like we can do this. I think we can do this. Whee! Uh. I need to record more games and portrait. Nope, I don't want to do that. Please don't make me. Oh, no. Did I just commit suicide? I did, didn't I? Nope, I didn't. That was probably the most efficient way to beat these levels, is just swiping back and forth. Huh. Nidroids, you can't touch this! You can't touch this, you see? I'm your father. I am your... Pfft, they just jumped right over me. Who do you think you are? I am Zane. Huh. Oh, no! Uh, I'm stuck. Hoi. Hoi, uh. So I got magnetism again. This is the only item you give me ever again. I want to kill an android. Don't make me go up again. Why are you making me go up? Hoya! Hua, hua. So you guys are probably thinking, well, dude, on some videos you put music in the background. I'm not going to do that for these videos. That way you guys can actually end up hearing the audio of the game since these games were like these games were the pinnacle of Lego gaming I mean that's why I'm highlighting them as their own series is they were actually really good games um, don't worry I've only downloaded the best of the best of the best because um, I feel these games that I'm gonna play are only the best um, they're only the best LEGO games they can be as a game. This game, I think, if geared more towards kids, instead of me, like a teenager, playing it, I think it's a better game. Because the, the way the game is engineered is Temple Run 
for kids, but it's Ninjago Temple Run, and it's not officially Temple Run. That's what I'm thinking here. So, if I were to give this game a review, which I'm probably going to start leaving in the descriptions instead of telling you. That way, if you guys want to play the game, you can judge. Um, oh, Spinjitzu, boy! Can't touch this. Wow. Anything is literal with Spinjitzu. Oh my gosh, if you guys haven't seen the last episode of Nexo Knights, the one where Lance is the their acting... And they're on the movie. If you guys pay really close attention, you can see subtle um, throwouts to Ninjago. Like, there's a... I think it's like a bot. The medieval bot. I don't know what you call it. It's like the... It's not like a knight bot. It's just a bot in general. Um, but he's wearing a Lord Garmadon mask and practicing his lines. So I'm wondering if that's a throwout to... The Lego Ninjago movie? Is that a throw out to the movie? I don't know. Is Garmadon supposed to be in the movie? I haven't done my research on the Ninjago movie. I think Garmadon is supposed to be. I think... I think it is set... It's, oh, wait. It's not set with the TV show. That's right. I remember the director confirming that. That it's not set within the TV show, but it's still set in the same universe. It's not, like, completely different universe. Um, but I just thought that was funny, because there was, like, multiple throw out There was multiple throwouts to Ninjago in there. And it's just funny. And if you guys did catch it in the first episode of Nexo Knights, when, um... Is it the first episode? It's either the first episode, or it's the episode where they get the four tracks. Um, when Robin is switching around the scenes they can fight in, for a split second... You see Chima as one of the training grounds. And that is a shout out because Nexo Knights actually replaced Chima because Chima was not doing that well, I think. I think, mm, like, income wise, Chima was dishing out too much money. There was too much money involved in making Chima and it wasn't bringing the money back in or something like that. And that's why it got cancelled, and there was only two seasons, which are both now on Netflix. Considering the fact that they're just missing, like, the, I think the last two episodes, they're missing on Netflix. Um, season four needs to come on to Netflix for Ninjago. We need the tournament season on there, so I can delete them off the stinking DVR. I've had them on the DVR since they came on, like, since they premiered. And then our DVR broke and it got wiped, so... And then, right after that, um, the, like, what would you call it? Was it the, like, Ninja Day? Or whatever? The Lego Day. Lego Day on Cartoon Network. All the episodes came back on and I was like, oh yeah. I just got my Ninjago fix. Boy. Amazing. I think I'm gonna try to play the entire game if I don't fail too hard. Uh, hoo -yah! I really hope I don't fail too hard. I don't want to fail too hard. In LEGO games, is there such a thing as a red stud? I don't think there is. I think we're on checkpoint... Gosh dang it. Yeah, we're on checkpoint 7, so we have five more checkpoints to go. And we might... Oh, green Lloyd's covering me. Right, Lloyd, let's go. Dun, 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 I just gotta tell you, I, the only problem I have with this game is the character models are really bad. Like, the way the characters look struck me as really, like, repulsive and bad. I'm just saying. Other than that, the game, this game was actually pretty solid. Uh, I played this game for a while. I beat it, like, four different times. And, um, I never played it again. I haven't played it since I beat it back when it came out in, like, 2014, which is two years ago. Which is really hard to comprehend that it was two years ago that Rebooted came out. Um, of course, piracy should be coming on in the U.S. soon. I don't know, like, the official release date, but I know I've seen all the episodes. All the episodes are 
probably still on YouTube unless Lego took them down. Um, I know Lego, like the official Lego YouTube channel, started uploading, I think, the first five. Either the first four or the first six are up on their Lego YouTube channel. Um, I think the first four are up on their YouTube channel um, that, for you to watch. And they're in, in English, too. Which, I was like, oh man, that's amazing that they would do that for you. Because, like, but if they upload them then that means the people who would watch it on TV, like me, um, aren't watching it. I was trying to do, like, minimal spoilers this year, but this year I just kind of, like, clocked out, and I was like, you know what? If all the episodes are on YouTube, I'm watching them. So I finished the entire, like, watch. I finished watching the entire piracy season. I'm working on playing the piracy game. I haven't uploaded the piracy game, like, any footage or gameplay of that in a while. I need to work on uploading that. Um, that'll probably be the next video I record after I upload a couple of videos. Because if you guys didn't know, I do have the tendency to pre-record. Since, think about it, I'm a fully functioning human being. Um, I don't have time to sit down... Dang it. I don't have time to sit down every day and make a video every day. So, usually on the weekends, um, when I don't have school, I will sit down and pre-record. I've already pre-recorded two other Throwback Thursday episodes. And it's amazing. And I've already got three videos. Um, two of them are privately uploaded. The Hero Brine custom minifigure is out at the time of this recording. So if you guys want to piece that together, when that, like, the day that video was uploaded is the day this video was being recorded. Basically. And then I, after I do this, I'm probably going to end up going and doing content for the Freaky Ninja MCPE channel. Um, I gotta go record some content for that. Otherwise, I have literally, I have, like, literally two special videos that I don't want to upload until, like, the first of a month. But I might be forced to. Um, I could have told you we were going up in this level, because we just haven't gone up that much. Um, we -ya! Go, before he kills me. So, if we do end up coming around back around to this game, like I said we would do with um, Battle Orders, LEGO Star Wars Battle Orders, um, we'll probably just play around in endless mode for a couple minutes. Uh, the only problem is if you stop, you lose all your progress, so that's kind of why I'm trying to do this in one sitting, like one video, rather than like seven parts. Because it's just easier that way. Climb, 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 ugh. I'm probably going to be recording some- dang it. I'm probably going to be, like, screen captioning some videos on my 3DS. Just because I have a couple LEGO things on there that I could play. And I don't want this channel to turn into a gaming channel. Because I had a gaming channel for that. But I decided to make it all Minecraft. Um, I think I tell you on that channel why I made it all Minecraft. Um, I probably do. I think I did. If not, I'm gonna, it'll be in the March. It'll be in the April channel update. Unless I make a mid-month channel update for both channels. I probably won't. Um, other than the fact that we reached, like, 70 million subscribers. Just kidding. Um, we've reached, uh, 75. At the time of the recording of this video, we've reached 75 subscribers. So, only 25 more until we hit 100. And, guys, trust me. If you guys like like if you guys like what you see, um, guys, I have something special planned for 100 subscribers. Um, I have something really special planned for 100 subscribers. Like it's so special, it's gonna top any vlog I've ever done. Oh shoot, I just gave something away. Um, you know what? I'll just tell you guys. Oh no, 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 no! I won't tell you because I want it to be a surprise. Otherwise, it's no fun when you guys see the video. So, I can just tell you it's gonna be a vlog. I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna vlog or what I'm gonna vlog. Um, there will be at least, I think, maybe one vlog before it. So, it'll be at the end of March. So, um, the vlogging will start happening briefly um, starting March 25th. March 25th is when the vlog will come out. 
So if you guys want to see a special 100 to like 90, 100, not, not, from 90 to 100 subscribers, we have to hit at least 90 subscribers to have this channel up, or this special thing happen on the channel. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see like something special for the channel, um, let me know in the comments down below, and if you do want to see it, subscribe. If you guys subscribe, it lets me know you guys like what you see, and I can make more content like this. Um, I'm not outroing. Don't worry. I'm not outroing. I was just... Nope, I'm not outroing yet. We're not done. We have one more... Okay. We have one more checkpoint, I think. And then we've played the entire game. I really don't want to die. Man, that was really close. Okay, go, 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 I really don't want to die. We're, like, so high. We're, like, such high OMG right now. Yeah! Awesome. So this is the last checkpoint, right? Yeah. What? Is there a checkpoint after this? What? I thought 12 was when you fought Borg. Or maybe you get through 12 checkpoints, and then after the 12 checkpoints, um, you get to Borg. I think that's what happens. So we just gotta go up a little more. Wow. Okay. So anyway, back to the special channel thing that I'm doing. Um, as I said before, it's gonna be a vlog. Um, I might have CSO Antium Locks in it. I don't know. I, I haven't asked her yet. Um... But other than that, I'll probably ask her on Sunday when I see her at church. Um, so I'll probably have CSL Antium Locks in it. Um, we might Skype in Music Girl, but don't get your hopes up. Um, because I won't have my iPad for recording. It'll just be, like, me vlogging off my phone. Um, I want to tell you guys so bad. I want to tell you what we're doing. But if I tell you, it ruins the surprise, and then you guys know, and then, yeah, I'm just going to save it. It's going to be a surprise, I'm not telling you. You'll never force me into saying it. Unless we hit 100 subscribers before March 25th, I will not tell you. So, if, as I've said like a million times, if you guys want to see what this surprise is going to be, subscribe, tell your friends to subscribe, because, man, guys, I need the support. It's really going to help me. And what you guys are going to do by subscribing, it lets me know you guys like what you see. Man, I just realized I'm getting like a severe case of deja vu. But I'm actually going to say something different. Don't worry. Um, it lets me know you guys like what you see. And that means I can like make I can make a summer job out of this. Like maybe during the summer I'll start doing two videos a day. Since I won't have school in the summer. And I'll have like all summer to completely free reign make you guys videos to watch. I personally think we'll hit 200 subscribers by May, if not 300, because at the rate this is picking up, like, I'm getting at least 10 subscribers a day, or not a day, a week, because last week we had 65, and now we have 75, oh my gosh, that's amazing, um, and I mainly take, sub like, I take advice, not advice, but I take, like, examples from people like Sky Does Minecraft. Wow, this just turned into channel update so fast. This turned into, like, a stinking draw my life. Or draw my job. I think if I ever do a draw my life, I'm gonna do it Lego-themed, so it's gonna be, like, a Lego brick film of my life, so it'll be more of a watch my life instead of a draw my life. What do you think would be a cool take on the Draw My Life concept? Are you serious? I was so close. I need the stinking Mega Jump. Can I have the Mega Jump, please? Can I just have the Mega Jump? I don't want this video to be like 80,000 minutes long. Because I'm hungry. It's like afternoon here when I'm recording this. And I'm such hungry. I'm so hungry. So hungry, and after I eat, I gotta come back in here and make Minecraft content. Now, I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying I have a lot to do, and I still have to go eat dinner, because I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. 
Wow. So I uploaded a video 22 minutes ago, and it already has one view. That's what I'm saying. Is there's just so many of you guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Let's get to Cyrus Borg and finish this video up. Yeah, do it. Do it. Are you serious? Oh, that's so annoying. I got the mega jump, and then I fell. The, literally the next ob obstacle that hit me. I hate these going up ones. Stupid. Maybe I needed coal. This is a sign that I needed coal. Maybe coal is... I'm so excited that season 7 is going to be coal season. Wow, I just dropped something. Um, because... It, when you think about it, Cole hasn't really gotten any background yet. And it makes me wonder, if Cole's father is a royal blacksmith, who is his mother? Is That would that would have to make his mother um, the elemental master of Earth. Unless Cole's father is hiding the fact that he is the master of Earth. Ooh, excuse me. Um... So I'm just curious, like, who is the master of Earth? Who is the master of lightning? I mean, we know Cliff Gordon is Jay's real father. Um, if you guys haven't seen that episode, Cliff Gordon is the guy um, in Ninjago. Like, in Universe 4 Ninjago, Cliff Gordon is who played Fritz Donigan. Which I think is very interesting. Because if you notice, um, Cliff Gordon has um, black hair, but Jay has orange hair. So that would mean Jay's orange hair traits would have to come from his mother, and that would mean what if his elemental powers also came from his mother? Wow, this just turned into biology. Like, first it was a channel update, then now then it was Ninjago theories, and now it's just biology 101. But no, seriously, think about it. If, if Jay um, were to... Unless Cliff Gordon was hiding the fact that he was the Elemental Master of Lightning, just like I theorized Cole's father might be. I don't think he is. Because, you know, just the way Cole's father acts, um, he doesn't seem like he would be an Elemental Master in hiding. Unless all the Elemental Masters were being pursued by Chen. I don't know. Hey, it could happen. You never know. What if all the Elemental Masters were being pursued by Chen and he went into hiding as a real blacksmith? I don't know. But what I'm saying is, Jay's orange hair and elemental traits would have to lie from his mother. Because Jay's ginger hair, is what I'm going to call it, um, they would have to derive from his mother, as I've said before, because Fritz, Cliff Gordon is not, he does not have orange hair in the show. Unless, since he's an actor, maybe he dyed his hair? Hey, we don't know much about Cliff Gordon. All we know is he's Jay's birth father, and Ed and Edna are Jay's adoptive parents. Um, how Ed and Edna came upon finding Jay is still a mystery. All they said is they found him on their doorstep, and they just took him in as their son. That's all they said in the show when Jay finds out he is indeed, indeed adopted. So my question is, who is Jay's mother? Who, who could the Hageman brothers be hiding as Jay's mother? I've been pondering this, and there is literally no one in the show, unless she is deceased, that could be his mother. There is literally no one. And you can't even say that Jay could be related to, like, Kai or Nia already without, like, marrying Nia. Oh, here we go. Boss stage. You ready? Cyrus Borg, can you feel my power? The Overlord has possessed you. Ha 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 ha. I am invincible. Now I have a Technoblade. This will free Cyrus Borg from the Overlord. Oh, no. But you will not catch me. All right, let's go. But anyway, what I was saying before Cyrus Borg interrupted me, um, is the fact that you can't relate Jay to any other elemental master except for Lloyd. 
Because Lloyd is the only one who has been seen to have all the elemental powers at once. He is the only one who, in the show, has been seen to have all the elemental powers. And then when he became the Golden Ninja, um, those abilities were spent. And he just has golden power now. Um, so I'm just curious. Who is who could who could Jay's mother be? Like, other than maybe Misako, but you would think that would be a stretch for the Hageman brothers to pull off because Jay looks nothing like Lloyd when you honestly think about it. Lloyd and Jay look nothing alike. They don't have the same hair color or anything. Wow, I should really be saving this for a theory video, but I'm blurging out right now because this is my theory. I think Jay's mother's dead. I really do. I think Cliff Gordon's wife is dead. Why do I think this? Because we haven't seen any Ninjago character to have the orange hair that Jay possesses. Unless... The Hageman brothers said time travel would be adopted into Ninjago in their 2015, was it 2015 Comic Con panel? I think it was. Wow, look at that. All in one video. What happened? My head is spinning. You were possessed by the Overlord and we saved you using the Technoblaze. About your head, uh, who knows. Oh, thank you. Now you must find the Overlord and destroy him once and for all. What are we waiting for? Ninjago! And that's the end of the game, pretty much. I'm going to play in this mode. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe for daily LEGO videos. And if you guys want me to finish this, uh, who is Jay's mother theory, leave me a comment down below and tell you me who you think she is. And if I get a, like, a really good answer, or a really good comment, I will give you guys a shout-out in that video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.